So, uh, Mullen, I wanted to ask about your work as a producer, actually. I noticed that between this and Chick Fight and Friendsgiving, there's sort of a, a common through line of women who are attempting to grapple with a discontent in their life. You're obviously a little more extreme. <laughs> uh, and- <laughs> And I'm curious what you um, what you look for as a as a storyteller in your um, production capacity. I love a human experience. I love a a, a challenge. You know, we want to see. We want. Uh, I, I like to see a character move through something um, and and have a change throughout a script. Um, of course, you know, it resonates with me. Any any sort of challenges, I feel like that's just life. We all go through our challenges and definitely have had my own um, fair share of them. And I think that it's nice to have relatability. I love to bring in, usually I like to bring in some comedy and levity into it because um, that is life as well. There's comedy in, in, in trauma and in sadness, and we have to be able to laugh at certain things, but um, this is a bit original just because it was uh, again, a, a challenge I like a character piece and moving into something that is very psychological. Um, and I didn't, I didn't know how I was going to approach this at all. I've never, I don't think I've been brainwashed in my life. I, I don't <laughs> think so. Um, so moving through figuring out what that would look like. And, um, uh, you know, as, as you saw this, it doesn't really give you an answer at the end either. And I, I really like an open ending like that. Well, Lorenzo, I was, curious um, about how you balance a performance like this, because on the one hand, there's a, a real trauma story here of a victim trying to grapple with this horrible experience they've been through. And on the other hand, you have these sort of encroaching thriller horror elements. I'm curious how you how you uh, how you approach that with your performance. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have like a set way of doing things. Like I don't have like a strict method of how I approach certain things. I think when I read a script, I try to, I, I try to figure out uh, the arc and where I'm going to go and how high I want to get. But that also has so much to do with my directors in this case, Jen and, and, and Chris and, and my acting partner, Marlon, like for this one in particular, it's so much about the elements and these two women, like there's nothing to fall into. So you're very naked in a way, very vulnerable. And, and it's all about that trust because then you can really let go. Right. I think for me, particularly, I enjoy doing this kind of genre just because there's a real release that happens when you can really let go and explore very scary aspects of yourself or situations where you could be in. Um, I, I think the mind is very powerful, but also very fickle. And I think, you know, to allow yourself to, to go there, um, it can be quite an experience. And I, I, I think I was able to do that hopefully in an okay way, <laughs> but I, because I felt very safe and, you know, it became a joke even because my character has so many of the scare moments and the eyes and the, yep. so there was a lot of, <laughs> you know, you, you, the way that Mullen said that you have to, you, life is pretty scary as it is. Real life is, is, is very scary. So I, I as I, I like to deal with life and with comedy a lot. And I was so lucky that I had Mullen in this movie because there was a lot of laughs in between takes. There was a lot. <laughs> you know, balancing out the emotions of the characters and, and on set. And I think the balance of the performance happens in the editing room and with the director is it's a collaborative thing in the end. It's, it's not just you ever. And I did, I wanted to ask about the chemistry because so much of the movie rests on the relationship between the two of you. And you can even see it in the zoom right now that the two of you clearly have gotten along <laughs> swimmingly. So I, I'd love to hear you talk to that. Um, yeah, well, it was instant. It was instant friendship from the beginning. I mean, Lorenzo has one of the most outgoing, bubbly, sunshiny personalities ever. <laughs> um, and I love it. It And throughout really grueling long days, you know, it was just like, she'd come to set and it was like, <laughs> 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 really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. I love it so much to have somebody who's so outgoing and just real and, and can't be anything but themselves. And so, you know, we've continued our friendship after and, 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 you know, I have a friend for life and that I'm so glad it resonated on, on the screen. And that's all you can hope for, especially when you have um, two people that it hinges on and, and their relationship. So we got lucky. 
<laughs> well, I, I gather we've reached the end of our time, but I, I really enjoyed having the chance to speak with both of you today. I'm a great admirer of both of your work, actually. Women as Losers, I'll see you in my dreams. Just a lot of stuff I really appreciate you both have done. So uh, congratulations on this film and best of luck. Thank you Thanks. so much. <laughs>